between you and me, right where you are right in this moment, is exactly where you were meant to be. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to the Joygasmic Life Podcast. I am your hostess, Elena Harder. This is a mini episode designed to give you a taste of what is available in our larger full interviews, as well as what we get into in the deeper version of our membership, where we have full video, bonus courses with our interviewees, and of course, our weekly calls where we support each other mom to mom. We'd love to have you as part of the Joygasmic life. I, I lie to you not, in the back of my head, I was thinking, there, there's a better way. Mm. And, and you know, the next time I do this, I'm really going to prepare mentally, mm. physically, emotionally. And so 10 years later, um, I'm pregnant again. And I said, yep, th- this is happening again. And I remember ding, ding, ding. Th- what, I, what I promised myself I was going to do was going to prepare immediately. And I was going to prepare hard and practice daily. I hired a birth coach. I said, Kahari, we're going to do this. And um, she was in New York at the time. And I was in Austin. Okay, no, I was in Dallas. So we did this remotely. Mm. and um just movement started coming into my head I'm a dancer Mm -hmm. like I mentioned earlier so you know just movement mind body movement started coming to me you know pelvic movements circular movements started coming to me and I was doing it daily I was stretching and practicing daily my sister created these amazing meditations And I was listening to these meditations every single day, orgasmic meditations, peaceful meditations, joyful meditations, blissful meditations. Woo, I'm getting chills right now. And eating foods to help bring me into a state of joy and bliss and sexuality, having sex and, you know, all of that, you know, goodness. And... Um, I decided to give birth at a birthing center. My first was at a hospital. And my doctor told me, I remember her saying, you know, you waited 10 years to give birth again. So expect that your birth is going to be longer than the first and harder and more complicated because you're 37 years old. I am at risk. I'm at risk. Right. And I'm just looking at her like it's going through one ear and out the other because I'm like, okay. You right. No idea, you have no idea who I am and what I'm yeah. about to do. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. It's like whatever they say, all that fear mongering, <laughs> like F it, who cares? Like if that's what you want to believe, then uh, hey, that's not that's not me. Yeah. So I kept practicing and then finally when I started to feel those sensations, those waves. My affirmation was each each wave brings me one step closer to holding my baby. I was breathing through it. And my my partner at the time, he he was, I could tell he was freaking out and tensing, but I was just in my my joy and in my zone, like you know, and just whining and moving on my birthing ball. And I'm on my birthing ball right now, by the way. <laughs> yes. Um, and we took uh, our car ride was about maybe 40 minutes to get there. And the car ride was a bit bumpy. And it was uncomfortable at first. But then I took that bumpy feeling and I started to make it joyful. Like, oh, yes, I'm riding those waves. I'm going up and down and just opening up my cervix even more. And then as soon as I got to the birthing center, I was already seven, seven, seven or eight, I can't remember, um, centimeters dilated. And they were like, oh, yeah, you're ready. You're ready. <laughs> and long story short, I got into a froggy style position, more like a a butterfly because my the soles of my feet was were, were together and my knees were flat open I was so flexible that my entire legs were flat on the bed and I had a birthing bowl over me and she came out I didn't even feel her head come out mm. okay and um, I was so flat on the bed that she couldn't get the rest of her body out she was and and I 
I actually recorded it so I can see where the, the trouble she was having. <laughs> she was trying to get her out. And I remember at the time feeling like, what is she doing back there? Like her body should already be out. <laughs> and, um, but I'm still in my zone. And then I remember my birthday coach saying surrender because I started to get out of my zone because I was thinking mm. too much. Why isn't she out? And my birthday coach said, surrender. She screamed it out. And it was like computer, like it's so amazing how your brain is out. It was like a computer. Immediately I went to surrender mode and she came, I lifted up my you know, booty a little up and she came right out. Mm. It was just four hours short mm. and she gave me a nice herbal bath and it was like birthing wasn't even a thing. I, I stood up and I was dancing. I was walking. It didn't feel like I gave birth. Mm. Okay? And I was ready to be discharged two hours later. It was on the 4th of July. So we were like, Whoa! You know, and I remember just feeling like I want to do this again and again and again and again, mm. you know? Yeah. So that's my, my birthing story. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you can really see how like that change and that, that preparation, you know, um, I'm in a similar situation. My first child is almost 10 now I'm expecting again. And it's like, I'm going to do this again. Like I got to do it differently. That's part of why I'm talking to you ladies and all the orgasmic birth ladies being like, what's going on. Right. Like this is a, it's a phenomenon. It's an experience, but it's also a natural physiological way that birth can unfold when we're not scared, when we don't have like ancestral birth trauma. You know, both of you mentioned that you're, you grew up in a really healthful, spiritual family. Your mom didn't have, well, at least with Fatima, she didn't have a, such a hard time with the birth. So you, you have this imprint that says, it's okay. It's, it's fairly easy. Right. And, and good role models and good support and then good preparation, right. As well being like, mm, maybe I didn't prepare so well for the first one. So what can I learn? What can I do differently? What can I explore? And so much more for you over in the Joygasmic Life membership. Become a bulletproof mom with us. Learn the tips and tricks and skills you need to recover from your postpartum mental health journey and learn the tools of joygasmic alchemy so you can have the kind of birth you've been dreaming of.